Hello, my minion drop kicking unconventional conventionalists. Well, uh, yesterday I went to Volcano Bay. Today I have reservations right here at Islands of Adventure. So um, the park actually already open. I'm here like 30 minutes past the gates opening, so I'm gonna go ahead and get in there now. Let's go. All right, and I'm inside. Oh, super excited to be back. Now, from what I understand, they've actually uh, repainted Islands of Adventure quite a bit. So you'll be seeing that a lot of the colors are like popping, like really bright and vibrant now. Like, look at this over here. Check that out. Look how bright that is. Look at that garbage can, how bright it is. Yeah. They like did a completely new paint job on Isles of Adventure during the pandemic closure. So I think, I think majority of their work during the pandemic went into this park, for real. So, um, I'm actually not limited to just Islands of Adventure. Turns out I can go to Universal Studios today too, if I so please. So I might do that later. It must be measuring my dick. Oh. My. God. A. Duck. Lost Continent definitely has a new paint job. Look at the Griffin. Look at him. You know, I, I don't think that I've ever seen his armor plate that, like, dark. Usually, as far as I can remember, this was, like, faded to this color. Like, he was all this color. So he's looking really valiant now. You know, I've always thought Poseidon's Fury had, like, one of the most impressive exteriors. That's really cool. And it definitely has a new paint job. I mean, look how bright that purple is. Look at, look at the gift shop. Look at that. Look at those columns. That is blinding. In a good way. In a good way. Props to the painters who did this. Like, great job, guys. For reals. Hi, my name is Catbox. Matt is Matt. Right next to you. Hi, my name is Jacqueline. Hi, Jacqueline. Where are you from? Um, I live here now for about two oh, years. I'm here. What? I live here. I live here too. No, you don't live here. I know you live here. <laughs> I've been here my whole life. No one lives here but me and Charlie Griffin. <laughs> this guy used to live here, but he left. Okay, how about this? I live a few blocks away. Oh, you live there? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> what do you do, Jacqueline? I'm just glad to be back here. Glad that, you know, Excellent. corn quarantine's been lifted. It's been tough, right? It's been real tough. Yeah, two months of nobody talking to me. I, I forgot how to talk. The first person I, I said hello to, I said, friends are done with hands across the pistol tree. <laughs> makes no sense whatsoever, right? No. But I had to remember how to put words together in the right way. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. What do you do, Jacqueline? Do you have a job? I do, actually. I'm an entertainer. Where? At uh, Creole Experience. Uh, where? Creole? Yeah. That place is what I call a shirt. Then you wear it in your sock with my crayon. Yeah. Awesome. Is that your favorite color? Indonesia? I do. Um, I would say my favorite color is onyx. Onyx? Yeah. Ooh, that's black. Yes. That's very really dark. Yes. What makes it not black? What makes it onyx? It, ha black. it has a shimmer. It's like a metallic black. Nice. Very, very special. Excellent. My favorite color is blue. Yeah? Yeah, it's the color of the sky. Most it's of the time. I look at most of the time. <laughs> All right, well, you keep it real, buddy. Keep it very real. All right, bye. Have a great day. Okay, this is pretty broken. So, um, in order to reserve a uh, virtual place for Hagrid's motorbike adventure, you're supposed to scan this, and then it's supposed to give you some time to pick from. Well, uh, I scanned it, and this is what I got. I know people were there. Nice organization, guys. That's, that's definitely some points off. Also, great social distancing here, let me tell you. Like... Deja vu. Almost like we did some kind of versus video here not too long ago. Hmm. Imagine that. So check this out. Construction of the Velocicoaster. 
in Jurassic Park has gone very vertical. Like, a lot of progress has been made here. Check that out. Like, before the pandemic started, they were still turning dirt. This is promising. Super excited for this new coaster. Hell yeah. Here's another part of the Velocicoaster going up. It looks like this coaster is going to surround pretty much the entire Jurassic Park area. And that is a very big crane. So is that one. Oh, it's going to be badass, yo. It's going to be so badass. Blue has got a new crib. Look at this. Oh, nice. Jurassic World is now proud to present the Gold Alliances. I don't think she's in there. Let's see blue. Let's see blue. Let's go. Can you calm down, okay? Try not to eat any more chili. I should have put my mic off before I said that part. You're going to be fine. Look at me. Hold on me. Hold. Hold. Okay, you good. All right, y'all. Get ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let, let him in. He's ready to go. Okay. Good girl. All right. Here we go. Now move slowly, carefully. Right up to the line there. Good. Hey, Blue. How's it going? I pick up on those colors. Yeah. Yeah, those bright colors really get her sense of stimulated. And she is uh, laser focused on you right now. How come she don't have a face mask? See, you know, these different breeds. Don, genetics. Genetics. Perfectly healthy. Oh, okay. Plus, you can't keep it on those teeth right there. Too bad, That's true. That's true. Oh man. Okay. There you go. Good. All Good right. Good seeing you, Blue. You're Good to see you. You're gonna need to run. Get yeah. her okay. okay. All right. All right. All right. And giants walk the earth. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Looks like the dinosaur's got a new paint job. Too bad he's not moving. Oh, there we go. You guys saw that, huh? How they're loading the ride vehicles now? That's good. That's good. Well, one part is good, one part is bad. It's good because it means people can do all the rides they love while still practicing social distancing. It's bad because that makes the right wait times longer. But hey, you know, it's kind of part of the deal here. This is like one of the new safety measures that we're just going to have to accept if we want to keep enjoying the things we do. Longer wait times.
somebody did not have her coffee this morning. So uh, I just finished writing Kong Skull Island and uh, something I kind of noticed while I was in the queue, like just having everyone spaced out and having uh, less people per room, it actually kind of made the whole thing a lot more like ominous. Kind of like, you know, you were exploring this old forgotten temple. It, it was cool. And I'll say this much. If you're an introvert, now is the time to come. Because, like, not only are people further apart, but it's a hell of a lot quieter. Like, you don't have, like, all this chit-chat on all sides. Like, maybe every now and then somebody will say a couple sentences, but majority of the time it is, like, dead quiet in the line queues. So, if you just hate people, you just hate being around people and want nothing to do with people, but you want to have a good time at the parks, now's the time for you to come, all right? Introverts, this is your time to come to Universal right now. Trust me on this. Also, oh, it's uh, coming down pretty hard right now. Worse than yesterday. Thinking of making a um, break for Spider-Man if I can. I might do that. I'm gonna make a break for Spider-Man. So, I uh, made it to Spider-Man, but I got soaked in the process. I might have to ditch these gloves because they are just sopping wet. Very cold. So, take a look at the glove one more time, guys, because I'm about to lose it. Ugh. Now what's kind of cool is that you get an opportunity to look at the extended queues. Like, I have never seen this development room for Spider-Man. I didn't even know it exists. I don't remember... I don't remember seeing these filing cabinets either. This is like an entire new area for me. Usually this is closed off. This is cool. Has been completely destroyed by syndicate. National coverage! So don't screw this up! I mean, uh, good luck. Man, you shouldn't be out here. With Doc Ock on the loose, this could be the most dangerous night of my life. And yours. Be careful. Click shades. That's my Something um, that one of my friends complained about is that they're not sanitizing the bars on the ride between each uh, rider. And this is true, but something I noticed is that they are giving hand sanitizer to every single guest before they board the ride. So everybody that's on that ride has had their hands sanitized. So I feel like that's kind of the same thing. They're just sanitizing the hands instead of the bar. I, I think that's fine. I think that's totally fine. I don't know what people are complaining about. These people, they're here for like a tour, man. They're here for delightfully educational purposes and they don't know about trackets or deciding or any find them. I got Now is the time to have sleep in this tomb. I can hear this. Soon I shall find you. Alright, so Poseidon's Fury has been part of Island's Adventure since it opened in 1999. It is like one of the oldest attractions still in existence. I've ridden it at least a dozen times over that course of 20 years. And I gotta say, just now was like my favorite one. You guys saw in the brief clip that I was able to get that there was a t there was a total of 11 people in there, including myself. So me and 10 other people. That was it. And it was so much more immersive and personal. And like, you know, Taylor was like talking directly to me. Like Taylor was just like kind of like alternating direct conversations with people in the room rather than addressing an entire group. And I really, really like that. Like, I am loving how dead this park is and how, you know, just how the social distancing really just makes the experience better. It really does. I am loving this new system, like, way, way more than I thought I would. So, here's how the locker systems work now. 
there are two lines, one for people who are dropping off stuff in the lockers, and another line for people who are picking up stuff from the lockers. And they send only one party per section of lockers at a time. So there's no more giant crowd of people all over the lockers trying to drop off or get their shit. And I like that too. One of the things I've always hated the most about coming here is trying to deal with the lockers and the big crowd of people fighting each other trying to get their shit. No more. No more. I love it. So there's one hour left until both parks close and you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to Universal Studios because I want to play me some Men in Black. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah! We're doing this! Yeah! Heads up, hot shot. This is Agent J. Time to see what you're made of. Oh, and uh, that red button? Yeah! Boy! Oh! 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 Boy! Time to suit up, y'all! Yeah! The last Fuck suit it! Alien! Fuck it! Suck my tranny dick, alien! Oh. Dumb! Man, what a way to end an already awesome day. Holy shit, today has been great. Social distancing at theme parks is the best thing ever. It really is. It, it heightens the experience and just makes everything more enjoyable. Now, will this still be the case when it, everything opens up to the general public tomorrow and the parks get more crowded than what they have been today and yesterday? That I don't know. That I do not know, guys. But I do know that I had a damn good day. Um, also, one thing that I really never got to touch upon in this anywhere in this video, it just never came up, was um, how character meet and greets work. So, I really didn't run into any characters in the park, but literally just now, as I was leaving, because parks are closed now, they close at 5 today. But as I was leaving, I walked past Chocolate Emporium, and I see Penelope and Jock. I love Penelope and Jock, they're the greatest. And although they're the only character meet and greet I did today, take a look at this photo and you can kind of get an idea of how um, the social distancing for character greets is going to work. Yeah, see, you kind of just got to selfie it the right way. You just got to get them in the background, just kind of like lean and get them in the background. That, that, that's just the way it works now. But, you know, it's good that they're still doing the characters. That, you know, it... I'm okay with this. I am totally chill with coming to Universal, like, every damn week. Why not? Until my own workplace opens up. Until, you know, I start working again. I'm going to come here a lot, and I'm going to love every damn minute of it if this is how it is now. I hope this answered a lot of questions you guys might have had. I know um, me doing the video today wasn't quite as unique as yesterday because everybody and their fucking dog has been flogging the reopening of studios in Iowa, alright? Uh, if you search uh, reopening Universal, you're going to get like 500 videos at least come up, so. But I still enjoy doing this, and I hope you find my method of entertainment to be enjoyable as well. So, I'm going to conclude this video. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe and smack that notification bell with your dick so you know when I upload new content. And until the next video, I love you guys, stay sexy, and keep on masturbating. Salute!